Everybody is here today. Something feels wrong about just filming people doing all the work. It's really in the side of the boat. It's quite stressful in here. I'm Jo and he's Vic. Together we've been navigating the English canals with our trusty canoe and two narrowboats. One of them is our home and the other we're turning into a travelling coffee shop on the water. Subscribe and come along for the ride. Everybody is here today. Oh, you got me. Everyone's here today. Paul's doing another coat on the roof. Dave's welding the gas locker. Steve's doing some gloss painting. Terry's in doing the sign writing. Vic's having a cup of tea. <laughs> but we're gonna get this. This is our little project while all that's going on. Is to get this thing, which is the slidey hatch, de-rusted, uh, primed, painted. We're being encouraged further and further away from the boat, the glossier and glossier it gets. <laughs> <laughs> Next yeah. it'll be like, um, it's just, uh, why don't you just pop over there, the other side of that car park, and... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> just stay there for, for the day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's nice. They're trying to make us feel like we're being helpful. Yeah, at least. really good. Ironic mug banter there from Steve. <laughs> Hey. <laughs> what were you just doing? On the doors, where they put, welded the steel, door, steel on, it's too close. So when you close the door, it goes, it bites onto the paint, which right. is absolutely no use at all because that, A, that'll go rust, rusty because the water can't escape. And also, every time you close the door, it's going to pull the paint off that you put on. So, as I said, it's, you've got to have a, a gap so there's clearance. Cool. Here I will attempt to show you the difference between the undercoat and the gloss layer. So this is what... In the panel is the gloss and out here is the undercoat. So you can see the difference in the sheen. So those panels have been glossed so that they're dried in time for Terry to come down and put the lettering on. And this is the gas locker that's going in. That box is going to sink into there at floor level. So Dave's going to weld that in. But yeah, he's got quite the setup down here. Like a massive angle grinder. And just a lot of electrics, but I guess that's what you need to do heavy duty jobs. This is the bit I think where it can look, it can look the same for a while now because there's so many coats of gloss that go on and so many coats of each colour. So once the one colour's on, like the blue down there, that'll just be keep, kept being repainted and repainted. Um, yeah. Here he comes to wreck the day. Do you want to talk us through the bit you did yesterday? What do you think? Yeah, it looks good. Am I getting better? Yeah. Never mind. That's just undercoat. So obviously it doesn't look quite as good as the glass. But that's my second attempt. What do you think? I absolutely love it. You can make that up, can you? You can use it. doing housework. <laughs> Are you getting this bit ready for something? Just uh, cleaning up after pool. Just cleaning up after This is about all we can be useful for at this stage. Yeah, what's, how's your role changed? 
Well, basically now, as you can see, the paintwork is getting to the stage where we're not trusted <laughs> to contribute our efforts towards it anymore. More like, well, we don't trust ourselves. Yeah, exactly. Like, we're not going to... I'm not going to mess with this when we can gonna... see how it's meant to be done. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to give that a go while it's while the going's as good as this. So I'm, I'm just uh, just tidying up now. <laughs> can you explain your dishevelled appearance? Oh yeah, I've just given up. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost time to catch up with us. <laughs> You'll be able to see it better in the videos, the slow demise of our appearance. <laughs> Vic used to be clickbait. <laughs> it's good as well. We started thinking about another boat. Right. <laughs> A new, new boat. Vic's got a new idea in his head that uh, he wants to do another boat. Oh, I can't do that. Um, he wants to start, like, start building another boat that runs solely on solar and wood. Sum it up in a sentence. It's basically the ultimate off-grid living, continuous cruising machine. So, I don't know, it's going to be a long sentence. So. No, no, make it short. Okay, yeah. All right, so the only two sort of main fuels, or three, that it's going to use is wood, solar energy, and manpower, mechanical energy. We're talking exercise bikes, charging the batteries. That's how full on this is going. Pretty much the whole boat will just be filled with wood for yeah. us to burn for the winter. And uh, we're gonna have legs of steel from <laughs> the 100 watts we have to pump out every morning, which is an hour of cycling. More than 100 watts. What do you think? You I feel like you're betraying the cafe, but. I know, I know. Look at how shiny. Another coat's going on the roof. Paul's just sanding it back. Would it help if we did some sanding as well? That's it. Take these off now. He's finished. Oh, no. <laughs> eh? Would it help if we did help with the sanding? Well, I'm only going literally just doing this, just literally running over. Oh, right, so okay. I should run it in a minute. Something feels wrong about just filming people doing all the work. You can put some that zinc primer on the edges of all these doors. Do you want me to? Well, so anybody can. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. I've just come back to zero to make some bread and uh, Vic was up late last night and I've just come across his um, open tabs on the internet. Take a look for yourself. It's quite startling findings. I guess you might be seeing Another narrowboat build sooner than I even thought.
from Terry to an equally as careful painter. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> wow, such precision. Yeah. You know, when you get to this level, so every brush stroke really counts. It's easy, really. Yeah, I'm glad that we've got professional help. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have a go? Yeah. <laughs> oh oh God! Oh, it's gone on the blue. Is it? Yep. Oh, I'm gonna get. Let me get the cloth. All right, quickly. Tell no one of this. And saved. I'm so glad we're not doing the actual gloss on the boat. <laughs> Do you not have much faith that it would turn out all right? No. Could only really look at it from a very long yeah. distance. We have a cratch cover that covered from front to back. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the pink has gone on and the gas lock is in. What are you thinking about Vic? Thinking about the new boat, the new boat for us to live on. If this boat is called Zero, think of this new boat as One. Probably wouldn't call it One. Haven't thought of the name yet. That's about the only thing I haven't thought about. Maybe it be, can be called The Impossible. <laughs> the Impossible One. Yeah. Vic's going to get a taste of solo boat life. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Haven't you enjoyed this project? This one? Yeah. Holly? Yeah. What do you think? Just one more, one more rodeo? I could do one more. Yeah, I could. It'd be, we'd be so much quicker at it. Yeah. It's all gotten a bit mad in the last sort of hour. This is an old furniture maker's. It's sad, quite sad that they've broken, well, they've shut down, you know. Gone under. Gone under, whatever. But there's just so much wood in there, there's tons. And the, the bloke in there is just like, yeah, take whatever you want. So. That cool chat. Hopefully, we can give it a second life some of it. Yeah, that's the thing. We've not really taken, I mean, we've taken some stuff there for. We need some battening, so we're taking some stuff for batten. And, uh, these plastic yeah. tubs <laughs> got picked. Yeah, these plastic tubs. Just Probably Vic's most excited this about. Empty. I just love a good, you know. That's just great storage. I mean, you can empty some engine oil into there. I'm just gonna I'm get Marie Kondo all over this sort of. <laughs> yeah, so that's pretty good. But yeah, quite mad to be in there because it's just such a massive space and like the stuff that's been half finished or nearly completed or whatever that's just been sort of left. Yeah. A sign of the times. There was so much going on there that I've burnt my bread. Mm. Dear, that's what I'll have to make tomorrow's lunches with. A lot of butter will be needed. I need to transfer this over. Right, we're going again. What are you up to? Um, we're making, we're making tiramisu for the boatyard. We're having a tiramisu off. Even though I don't think any, the, the two people that are making the tiramisu, I don't think either of us have ever made tiramisu before. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's quite stressful in here. But I'm making the Lady fingers, <laughs> saviol, saviolde, saviore, biscuits. Don't look at the kitchen, it's a mess. Don't look at this technique, it's a mess. There must be a way to like, no drip. Yeah, that looks very legit. They don't spread out much, but I should probably do a bit further apart than that. 
This is well exciting though, isn't it, when you learn how to make a new cake? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Especially when it's a tiramisu, it's pretty bad news for me. I'm about to put on five stone. <laughs> Who's that lady? Sponge finger lady. <laughs> they are delicious. I don't know what them, how that'd be nice is soaked in booze and cream. Yeah, with a and coffee. Mm. Aren't you pleased with that? Yeah, that's well good, isn't it? Yeah. It's yeah. Lighter, much lighter than a sponge cake. Yeah, that's mega. As we're not needed so much in the paint shed, uh, these next couple of days, Vic's doing some editing. Smile, it. And um, I'm gonna polish up some of the brass mushrooms. I've already tried one way, just with brass up, but I'm afraid that's just not cutting it. So Steve's like me, this barkeeper's friend. Actually. Ding. Um. Apparently that's meant to do the trick. So I'm gonna get on with those because the roof's had all its coats of paint now. I think it's had four coats. So they can go back on soon. You can sort of see the difference now. I've been doing that for a while on well i had to get the sandpaper out a little bit if anyone's got any tips on brass polishing with ease i'd love to hear them but anyway this is how far we've got better keep at it now i've got three really different looking mushrooms and i don't know how i've done it so at least they're all an improvement on the one that's not done. Uh, I've just got to get them all matching. Or maybe we'll just have four different mushrooms. Or maybe we'll just paint them all. Forget all this. I'm kind of doing everything I can to get out of brass. I've just kind of realised. I've been tidying this engine room. It's like procrastination, but productive procrastination. Yeah, so I tidied the engine room. Made a tiramisu. Made some bread. Made lunch. But now I think I've just got to get on with it. I don't know why I hate it so much. Here goes. Thanks for watching. I'll probably be in this exact same position when you see us next week. Subscribe to follow along and hit the notifications bell so you don't miss out. Thanks and we'll see you next week. Bye.